that we can make it. And we have the capacity and the fact that we have bridged this gap means a lot. And the Ministry of Education, I'm sure this is a good report to take, that women are not becoming maybe in universities, but we need to move further in the science because I'm sure university story is different. Allow me, I guess, to one and the members to protest us a few achievements, but which are many, but I will not go through them. One, I've already talked about open e-learning, or, or DEM, for which we are allowed. 89 of our programs are all of them, which means we are free to teach online, even students who are from far. And I'm sure that's why we are happy. And our staff have embraced all them. I want to also recognize Trinity Western University in Canada, who are partnering with us. There is a bachelor's and a master's that is the National Council for Education for Accreditation. But they have given us a first center, which they have equipped. Actually, they were a basis for our 89 programs of accreditation. They gave us support, they gave us money, but most especially the designs. Money is not enough, but some of those guys that move things is very key. So we will recognize them and our chancellor, thank you very much for giving us that collaboration. We have a university system. Today, all students of the university, you can do self-service. I'm sure where you are now, you are able to see your marks. So you are sure you are graduating. You know your financial status. That is not a main achievement for those of you who know where this has come from. So, yes. And even after today, beginning Monday, they are as a program which are going to give you. You will come and pick your academic transcript and certificate at the same time and the graduation booklet for those of you who are not around. Now I'm seeing those who are online. So come man, we don't want you to come as many. We are going to give faculty, but we shall start with faculty of law and faculty of nursing together will come and give their documents. And then other faculties will follow. Education, I'm told you are the one who are coming on Thursday. And I'm sure we'll have finished you. And then we, after that, we shall be serving you from Tuesdays and Thursdays only. Because we now know that you have a system that is working for us. I also want to, to recognize our people, or actually people who met at us and gave us their time and we had webinars to make sure the Shopsat University Strategic Plan is developed for 2021-2025, which on the 22nd, the council approved, the chair council approved it, and it is operation right now. We have a uh, professor, uh, Ellen Mshengesi, professor, Dr. Patrick Mdaturen, this one is the founder and CEO of Protea, professor Walina Waswa, the principal of Lubus, who also gave us two scholarships, three scholarships for business, one for PhD and one for master. So if you know you are for business now, you need to come to the university, you never know if you be the one to go for that PhD or maybe a master's. And we have got a three plan, I've already talked about in the Western University, Professor Keto Stugati, Professor Beke Zati, Professor Dibu Rubegai, the DPC from my university, Professor Yeru Mihinda of Makere, Professor William Maseo, and our own Chancellor, who was one of the key speakers and all the friends of BSU. I also want to appreciate government, the HESFED, Government Higher Education Student Financing Board. We have over 530 students that have been supported. And this year, we have received 85. We have several MOUs. One is Chapel University, the current one, we have his mass, and the other partners. That's not a main achievement. Now we have our technical programs to show that we are moving on well. We have started diplomas in the technical programs 
of UPK, who is in collaboration with the Chamorro University, and I can assure you the students are there. So even the skills development, we are there. We are have National Council for Science and Technology that have just given us money to support ethnomedicine or natural medicines uh, together with Professor Azraki. We have uh, other partners I've already told you where Professor Kaiduami is here. We have Makerele Relief Grants which are there. We have a business education hub which we are all in the know that is doing very well and our students have moved all over. We have another MOU with AFSA, which is like Israel Expedia. We are now taking our students to nowhere. I think Germany, I don't know which other countries, Dr. Rebecca is there, but now we have another Israel in other countries. So this is great, we better clap for that. Some of our students who have done agriculture, I think they will go by somewhere in the middle of this year. We call it Brexit Africa Expo Year. Then we have Avis, Avis in Uganda, they are extending another project called SEP and Bishop Seth University is a partner. I want to say, I did not finish all in the interest of time. Let me recognize Bible Society of Uganda today. We are donating a Bible, uh, it's called a prayer Bible, to the blind in our community. And this is a great honor. We request our guest of honor and our chancellor to come in front and hand over this Bible. The gentleman you see who is going to use the Bible, he is a teacher at St. Helens Primary School. I'm called John Puri. I got to be a when I was just age of seven, but I praise God that in spite of that, I was able to go to school. And I'm also a thing in reading like any other Ugandan. Please call me. Yes, please, I'm a teacher. I'm a school teacher. Our center is primary school in Nambadi Parana. Yes, I'm glad for the work of everybody that have led a contribution to the production of this Bible in the all other languages and now in two grade that I'll be able to read and also uh, really also minister to the young ones the, the word of God besides myself. Thank you. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Clap for the Lord. Clap for the Lord. This is the good of the time. Now you see the Lord is faithful. May you receive That you can meet for them of us, if you know. After after receiving. Uh, I said that one Bible is over two millions, two point five millions. One Bible for the vision in their people. And now you can see your Bible was thirty or forty thousand. So this is great. They were they requested for a verse. Yeah, <clears throat> esteemed brethren, I'm going to read the text that um, was used. Uh, this morning for the sermon. And uh, these are the very last verses in the book of Ecclesiastes. We are reading from verse 9, chapter 12, verse 9 to 14. But because, the, but because the philosopher 
was wise. He kept on teaching, teaching the people what he knew. He studied, he studied proverbs and honestly tested them, tested their truth. The philosopher tried to find comforting words, but the words he wrote were honest. The sayings of the wise are like the sharp sticks that shepherds use to guide sheep. And collected proverbs are as lasting as family driven nails. They have they have been given by God, the one shepherd of us all. My son, there is something else to watch out for. There is no end to the writing of books and too much study will wear you out. <laughs> after all, after all this, there is only one thing to say. Have reverence for God and obey his commands. Because this is all that human beings were created for. God is going to judge everything we do, whether good or bad, even things done in secret. Here ends our reading. Amen, amen, amen. This is what God can do. This is what it means being a Christian university. Bless you. I'm requesting that we have our staff who got PhDs from other universities. Today, we are bringing them here for recognition, but also to come and have a photo with our guest of honor and chancellor. Uh, Dr. Jotham Barugahare, he got his PhD from Dar es Salaam. Dr. Charlotte Kabaseke, she got her PhD in law. She was our first, she was our head of department and did faculty of law and founder from China, Wuhan. I don't know if she was able to make it, but she has been. Sharon, Sharon, come a second. Please, Sharon, come here. The institute. Dr. Rebecca Karimani from Makere University Economics. Uh, we have Dr. Chinti Dennis from uh, Chambo University of Vocational Studies and Technology. Actually, I don't mind you with the as I told you. We have Dr. Judith Arnika Rumusa. Today is graduating with Master's. May you come and have a photo because
Reverend Service Society, I respect by the scripture. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 25. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. As if working for the Lord and not for money. Dash, dash, dash. God does not show favoritism. Therefore, as we have been officially commissioned, go into the society of self. Be still at you to work with humility, excellence, and paying attention to detail in a Christian manner and character that is Christ-like. The Lord Jesus Christ pays well all who work for him in his vineyard, and you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Jesus Christ you are serving, thus no job in security. God, God given gift of life, combined with the knowledge and skills you have acquired from the training in BSU, go and excel. Sustain the university, family, and the personal legacy to be the torch to light the world. Your success is our success. You need to live up to your dreams. Israel. The experiences of the students who come back from Israel are very encouraging. And as I was saying you before, perhaps you should take a chair of the council to and witness this transformation on the next visit. The potential for cooperation in other areas is enormous. Areas of research and publication, tourism, entrepreneurship, mention a few. The paragraph that calls by Oliver Twist. Please, madam, we want some more. <laughs> to the graduates, you are the reason why we are here today to congratulate you and celebrate your historic success. Take a moment and look back when you were P1, I wonder how many years ago, when you are struggling with A, B, C, D, and then fast forward today when you celebrate perhaps the end of the journey. I do look backwards, 63 years ago, when I ran two kilometers from my home school, anxious to start my first day of P1. I was excited, I don't know why, but it was the unconscious hope of the future to come. Then I looked forward 43 years ago, when I sat where you are, graduating in medicine. I was excited. But my, excited, my excitement was moderated by the realization that it's God who had skilled me skilled me to do his work. And in all my 35 years of medicine, I was attending to patients, doing what I think when God lived on earth was doing, when he healed the blind, using whatever method. I spent all the years using medicines and a knife to make people see. And I did it with faith, conviction, that I was doing God's work. And if you do that in your work, I cannot see you being lazy. I can't see you being corrupt. You have to be very correct because you are doing God's work. Praise God. We, we naturally you at PSU, guided by our vision, which combines academic excellence Christian values and entrepreneurship. If in your work you are guided by that vision, you can never go wrong with your business, in public service, with no corruption, and also as a good citizen. Be our ambassadors and market our brand. So that whoever employs you for an employee, he knows BSU brand. And when you go for an interview, you pass. 
I've had the honor to interview people in agriculture and animal, animal science, going to projects in Ankore, in the power industries, in SMP, and the projects of BSU have always excelled those groups. <laughs> to fellow parents who are either here or attending virtually, we share in your joy. We know it's not always easy to bring up a child to this stage. Many fall by the way. We congratulate you, but on general Shiki, guide your children to keep their faith, the Christian values. Support them as they look for jobs or try to plan worship. Hold their hands as they falter fall down and raise and guide them for the most important thing to find good wives and husbands. <laughs> I think that's a serious business. <laughs> Join me to also appreciate our academic staff who have made this achievement possible and in addition the administration who have maintained the order at campus and have managed it so that this can be done to provide the right environment. Once again, thank you, our guest of honor, and please come again. Thank you, our Chancellor, for your wise guidance. I thank you all. May God bless you. Thank the Chancellor to address you. That's the way to go. Yesterday I was on a Zoom. Uh, there was an international conference and I gave the devotion. Trinity Western University, you heard about it. And people were listening in from all over Africa, China, uh, Canada, from the US. And uh, one thing which was clear, one of the presenters said, Uganda's biggest problem is in the manufacturing and Africa. That's where we lag behind. And of course, when you talk about manufacturing, you are talking about innovation. So we really need to see how we use our heads, our hands, our skills. That's only when we can have development uh, in this nation. And I think BSU is making a significant contribution. I'll not talk about the population, it has been mentioned. Staffing and service delivery. Currently, the university employs 331 staff, both administrative and academic. All those are employed. There are some people who look at church and they say, what does church do? The assistant secretary here uh, is in charge of about 7,000 workers. They have the DS who went before him used to say, Abakos Kashaj, whenever you talk. Those who are employed directly by church institutions, 7,000. And I think that is significant. So, can you avoid the church? I don't think. You would not have made a good evaluation if you are a serious politician or if you are a serious social and economic moral path. So, to our academic staff, thank you for a wonderful journey well done through the challenges of COVID. Through your continued support, BSU has grown into both an academic and entrepreneurial place of excellence. I think you noticed in the speech of the Vice Chancellor saying, we were ranked 10th by Webometrics. You emphasize many things. I wish you had emphasized that more. 10th nationally in Uganda by Webometrics, an international ranking agency. That is no mean achievement for BSU. <laughs> As we shall continue to nurture personal values and ethics that will become the standards of our nation, considering our motto, our God reigns. Please, graduates, go and be good representatives in the fear of God. And graduates, 
the spirit of complaining, try to reduce it.